does the mindset shift at all as far as once you get into week two and understanding that these guys have had a week to kind of get their wheels under them and, and you turn up the intensity a little bit here? Yeah, it, it, it gets, it starts to get, fifth practice starts to get to a point where um, these guys are leaning on each other, they're fighting for the same leverage, they're fighting for the same technique, um, they, they're, you know, they're physical against each other and so, um, you know, it's uh it's, it's a good thing. I mean, you know, the defense is coming along, the offense is coming along, uh, special teams is, uh, you know, we're getting better at, at, at just simple things that, you know, in return game and things that block, you know, uh, tackling, those type of things. And so, um, you know, it's it's a work in progress. And uh, these guys are just, they're enjoying it. Uh, they love being around each other. And uh, that's I think that's the most special thing about it. Now, there's a handful of guys, established players, especially on the defensive side of the ball, that are sitting out through, the, through this part of training camp. Is there a benefit to that? Because there's a lot of young guys, walk-on guys, that are getting a lots and lots of reps right now. Do you feel that makes this team a better football team? Well, you know, those those guys that are that are, are sitting out, you know, they got a lot of reps during the during the season, you know, and for one reason or another, uh, you know, healing from injury um, is, a, is, a, is a lot of the cases that they're going through. But uh, it does make room for those guys to develop behind them, um, you know, uh, understand the new scheme, understand uh, and get more reps, you know. Uh, the, the best thing I, you know, the, the thing that I can say about uh, Peter Manuma, um, you know, he, he's playing over 75% of the snaps on defense. Um, he's a guy that's missing. Garrett guy is very, very important to our football team, but, you know, we get to replace him with other guys that, that wouldn't be as gotten the reps like uh, Justin Sinclair. And, um, you know, Mickey Pays back there. Uh, Kilinaje is back there as well. Uh, we got some guys that, are, that need the reps that are going to get better, and so on. Uh, it's been good. It's been good to see those guys get those guys healthy, but also get those get the next guys up ready to play. Uh, talk about you know, things got you know things are getting heated, contact practice things like that. But just talk about using that um, that fire that they obviously have, uh, and, and talk about the competitive nature that this team is showing just so early on. Yeah, it's part of it, right? It's uh, you know they're they're getting chippy. They're getting. Uh, they're going at each other, you know, a lot. Uh, there's no one else to go at, you know, and so, um, you know, uh, the biggest thing is that when we bring it up and we touch somebody and you know, we shake hands and stuff, that we're all we're all understanding that we're all for the same cause and it's the same team. So, but uh, it's part of it. And this is a physical game. I I ask them to be tough. I really demand them to be tough mentally and physically. And so when they're going out here. That's what they're trying to do. And they're trying to oppose their will on each other. And uh, you know the the chippiness will happen and uh, they'll go at it. And so uh, it's all part of it. But uh, but the love's the love's got to be twice as strong. And uh, to me, that's that's what's really important too. Uh, we've been talking to you last week and, and leading up to this with the about the additions to the staff. Uh, I just want to talk uh, you can talk about Coach Reinbold and kind of what he brings to the defensive line group and, and having a guy, you know, uh, another one of the coaches that are coming back uh, to the university. Coach Reinbold's love and passion for the state of Hawaii and for this football program is unbelievable, and that's why he's here with us. I mean, he's going to give it his all, and um, you know, on and off the field, cares about these guys. Uh, Know, his uh, his demand, his standard is high, but uh, but his care and love is also high, and, and, and that's really good. And, and you know, we're lucky to have him. So uh, I look forward to watching those D tackles. A weekend now, uh, obviously, kind of along those same lines with uh, Coach Morrison. How have you seen yourself uh, change a little bit as a coach, not having to work as um, closely or as much with the, the quarterbacks? Obviously, still working with them, but you know, getting to pay a little bit more attention to the entire team as a head coach. What's that been like this year? Oh. You know, Coach Morrison adds a lot of value, and so uh, you know he's he's really helping us in uh, in correcting a lot of the details. Uh, you know, a lot of the experiences he's been through, and and the knowledge that he gives and passes down to the quarterbacks, the receivers, um, the rest of the offense uh, is is tremendous. I mean, even in our staff meetings, uh, you know, he's 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 helping all of us get on the same page, and so that's that's been that's been huge for us. Uh, and just cleaning up the details, and. Uh, and helping uh, Braden and helping the young quarterbacks, uh, you know, grow, and, and, and so it frees me up a little bit, and I get to I get to get to special teams, and I see I can get into watch the defense, and so um, 
for that part, I really like. Uh, Super Bowl upcoming, uh, fun week. Uh, heard you might be be a Niners fan. I know a new UH fan, and my mom is a Niners fan, so she'd like to hear that. Do you take anything from the Super Bowl a as well as a coach, or do you just kind of let that be be a fandom part of it? Oh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. I, well, I'm a fan of the 49ers, but I'm a big fan of just you know just good football. I mean, you know when you got the, the two most elite teams in the, in the um, in the world playing you know for various reasons i mean you, you can look at you know i really wanted to show the the guys the, the ravens game and um and i thought the ravens were the were the best team in the you know in the league um you know and and you know that 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 afc conference championship and just watching how the chiefs played and how the you know defense stepped up and offense had to make plays and now that you know then you watch a, a, a big comeback by the 49ers and it's just really good football. It's really good football. It's really high-level football and, and elite quarterbacks and elite play all across the field and one-on-one -on -one battles and matchups. And so, um, it's a it's a it's a good event. I'll tell you this. <coughs> I I, th I really think Monday should be a holiday for everybody. I mean, that should be that should be a, a day a Super Bowl Monday. We get that thing rolling. Is team off on Monday? We are off. There you go. Yeah, we are off. That's let's start with us. So. <laughs> It should, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to the we'll talk to the governor about it. <laughs> Quick one for me. Speaking on the Super Bowl, I guess you, well, what's got to be on your plate when, when when you have a Super Bowl party, or what's oh, got to be on the on the food line? I don't know. I mean, you know, you're, you're gonna have to start with a sushi platter from somewhere. You know, maybe Sushi Man, or you know, I mean, there's some there's some good things going on. So I don't know. You know, barbecue chicken. You know, turn down hot dogs and burgers for the kids, but. Uh, um, you know, that's just, a, I mean, it's just another way for us families and, you know, we're, we're big on family here in Hawaii and, you know, my kids love, my kids get into the football and they're rooting and they're cheering for teams and, and uh, brings families together and so, um, just really excited for everybody to get together I and mean, that's what Hawaii's all about.